Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, hope you're doing well. Now this video is going to be focused on the compensation for Alliance Wars. As you know, this dropped yesterday, but what I've done is I've gathered together some thought processes from various different areas of the community, and what we're going to do is try and look at this in whether or not we were actually compensated fully for Alliance Wars Season 13. Oh my god, 13 isn't it? Season 13. 13, the most unluckiest number. God. So for those interested, this is what you got. Most people got this, some may have not got exactly the same or it may have differed, I'm not 100% sure, but it all looks like it's exactly the same across the board. This is a good amount of stuff. For a lot of players, I think it's a case they're not too happy seeing this. And there's very good reason as to why. From different types of players and different types of tiers, what I've read so far is that people feel that the extent of grind and loss of opportunity from where they were after six battles in the season is a testament and tantamount to them not exactly feeling this compensation rewards them thusly. And also in conjunction with this, a lot of people are asking for where are the shards and whether or not people are basing that on the fact that did the compensation package for the downage day last week, which we got over the weekend, really compensate those that were looking for more shards in conjunction with the lost wars that they've had. And obviously there's two sides to that point. The first side being, look, we've had opportunities to do wars since the day that the game went down, or we could enlist in other wars. So there would be opportunities still to retain some sort of shards and have a more extended off season. But also the other side of things is the lost opportunity for those that have made that progression but then it completely lose out from just doing six wars and the remaining other wars that may have got them into a better type of tiering. They theoretically lose out and that's all. That's from all tierings. It doesn't matter if you're a master right the way down to like silver. You're still affected by that lost opportunity to gain from that situation. So... Should we have got any more shards from this? Well, here's the thing. It looks like there are people that are happy with the compensation package without the shards. But shards would be a good way to just smooth over the community. Well, there are plenty of people that seem to be saying that, yes, we should. And especially when you look at this post and this post and the people responding to the main forum post, which is the link is in the description for this. I think a lot of us get the point that the compensation is meant to be very much representing resources spent even though i'd probably say there may be like the few alliances in master maybe some in platinum one that will feel that this maybe doesn't coincide with the extent of how much they kind of spent from resources from loyalty glory etc in order to uh, to do those first six as i can imagine it, it costs a lot more when you go up higher however though when it comes to trying to smooth over the entire community Sometimes it's nice to put in something which, let's face it, some would be finding it unexpected to see any shards in, but other people feel that this was expected to put shards in. And what occurs to me from reading a lot of the stuff today on the forum and also like Twitter responses is that because the game is very much dependent on having some really key champions that are these god tiers, are very extensive, trying to get another crystal in order to get said champions is always that really big struggle that we have as players. I mean, it would be great to say, hey, I've got six star god tiers and, you know, I've only got like one. But, you know, for those that maybe get terrible champions or what we deem to be terrible champions, the fact is it would be nice to see shards to get to that next crystal to have a little hope. And that's the problem. Everyone lives with hope that next five star or maybe six star and even for some lower down four star could be that next champion to see them through more difficult content now let's get down to this like final point and that is the, the kind of the way that the title is done because it does uh, make you assume the wrong thing I especially like seeing stuff like alliance wars compensation seeing that means that you kind of like even though Caban would say, no, you're not meant to think this way, players do. Players will kind of look at that and go, do you know what, that's everything that encompasses Alliance Wars. Yes, you can read the, read the title, you don't read the description too well, you then go down to the rewards. That's the first thing you do. You go read title, you go down to the rewards. That's, that's the two things there. And that's the wrong assumption, but the fact is, people do that. And they'll go, oh, that's everything that's in Alliance Wars. That's resources, five-star shards, and all those things that I'd expect from Alliance Wars. So if you're one of those people, you'll go and go, 
where's the five star shots where's the six star shots where's the resources and i think it may be best to like change the titling or the way they kind of put compensation in because it, it just can create this false expectation that it's going to be five stars and six star shots and yes we did get something that was separate to that in order to I don't know, compensate us for that down day, which again was nice. It was a good package, but at the same time, it, would it be best that it all kind of comes into one big thing or it's titled differently to then give people that idea? The same way that they did that, what was it? Um, battle, like arena battle compensation. It was like a little upgraded, and the way they put like um, reward rewards compensation, it just again creates that false expectation that people go, oh, this is the compensation package. And then, then it's like, what is this? Is this is this a joke? So I think titling has got to be something that Caban work on. And again, going back to just smoothing over the situation based on the communication factor, maybe it was a case of going like, do you know what? Should we have just put in some extra five star shards just to say, look, kind of sorry about this, but at the same time, titling is uh, is really important just so that people don't misunderstand the and obviously have false expectations and assume that this is going to be better than it is. So I think Kabam need to do a bit of work on that side of things in the future. Maybe even think about like the way that they put compensation packages together and bouncing ideas off, um, off, off the community for things. Not just anyone like, you know, like myself or anyone in the actual Kabam studios. It should be a case that maybe we vote for something. We vote for a compensation package that is is for the community. Either way, what are your thoughts on the compensation packages? Did you like them? Did you not like them? Do you feel that you were kind of misled by the titling side of things? Which is obviously something that I mentioned. But obviously, have your own say. Have your own opinion. You're entitled to your own opinion. It's a free world at the moment before we get smited by the alien overlords. But until that point, check out some other content here. I'll be posting a video of the stream highlights later on from last night. Thanks everybody for the uh, support and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye for now.